don't know if you noticed, but in the last scene there, I turned off my phone. And I think I need to rewind a little bit to give a little context into what's going on here. Um, so for the last couple of years, it's been rough internally. And I kind of didn't know who I was, what I wanted, how I wanted to proceed with my life, where I was going, what direction I was going in. I was just, I was just a little bit lost. And it hit a pretty rock bottom kind of point recently. So I decided it was time to face my fears and figure myself out. And it just so happened that there was a retreat coming up in Sri Lanka. And I had every intention of sharing my experience from the retreat and doing like documenting my journey as I go. And I realized while I was there that one, it wouldn't do the retreat justice at all. And two, I think it's something after doing it that needs to be experienced by a person by themselves. So a little context, the retreat was a psychotherapy retreat run by a doctor in psychology called Dr. Monica. She is extremely knowledgeable with like 20 plus years of experience. And I don't think retreat does, does it justice. Like I think the best way to describe it would be like a psychotherapeutic, psychotherapy workshop or course, like a crash course. Basically, it was like six intensive days of obtaining so much knowledge about human behavior, psychology, all through backed by science, through an extremely passionate and knowledgeable individual. And yeah, you cannot recreate or share the knowledge gained unless you do it yourself. Like, But my biggest takeaway from this retreat, by the way, when you think of retreat, right? You think of my yoga and meditation. It, it, there was 15 minutes of that in the morning, um, but everything else was more educational. But I will get to that at the end of the video to share a little bit more if that would be something that you're interested in. But my biggest takeaway from all of it was, wow, I finally have some clarity and I think I'm able to take control of my life again. And I wanted to share some thoughts as to why I think that came up. And a big part of that was, disconnecting. So during the time I was there, I didn't have access to my phone. I turned it off and there was no scrolling my camera roll, checking social media, getting messages from anybody. There was no TV, there was no alcohol, there was no junk food. There was, there was just no external noise and entertainment to fill my time, except just learning and knowledge about, like I said, human psychology and then about myself and the thing that I realized from disconnecting and removing all that noise is you can really go within so like the best way to describe it is imagine a speaker with the volume turned up to max the sound is loud the external input is high so you compensate by reducing the sound with or the volume within and then there isn't clarity because it's just so noisy that you can't really even hear yourself think. And by removing all those external factors, you're also removing outside validation, outside opinions, outside entertainment. And it just really gave me the time to go within, which I think is powerful and what really contributes to taking control of your life. And let me explain a little bit more where I'm going with this. So after disconnecting, I truly believe that self-reflecting are the building blocks to self-improvement, which is a vehicle for self-discovery. So basically, what do I mean by all of that? Well, self-reflection is the process of examining one's thoughts, one's feelings, one's actions, and one's experiences. I suppose it's introspection and conscious contemplation. And how did I do that? by being mindful, being present, and creating a space for that introspection. And then when I had that space, I was able to question, inquiry myself, what am I feeling right now? Why did I react the way I did in that situation, right? Emotional awareness as well. What are my strengths and my weaknesses? What values are important to me? And what are my goals and my aspirations? And I think one of the best tools in that questioning that we can use even in today's life, like I did during this retreat, 
was journaling, putting pen to paper and getting those thoughts out to take that path towards clarity, which then leads to the building blocks of self-improvement. Just like bricks are essential to the construction of a building, so is self-reflection in laying a foundation for self-improvement, which ultimately leads to self-discovery. And that self-improvement means figuring out our values and our beliefs, our strengths, our weaknesses, our desires, our goals, our motivators. And then when we have more knowledge of all of these things, we then have the tools necessary to discover ourselves. And when we discover ourselves, we have ground to stand on. We have a foundation of what we want and then we don't go with what doesn't align with what we want and that gives us power it allows us to set healthy boundaries and say no when certain things don't align with what we want and i feel like it's a cycle and ultimately i think what that has done is take my life out of autopilot instead of passively letting life take me where it wants to go as a passenger and allowing external forces to influence my actions, I am the one in the driver's seat and steering life the way I want it to go in the direction that aligns with my values and my aspirations and my desires. And I think that there's a lot of power in that. And with that power comes that control. The control of my life that I have been looking for and the clarity to move in the directions that I want to move in, that I'm happy about. And something I forgot to mention while I was disconnecting from the world and being present on this retreat was there were a couple of breakfasts that we had to do where it was completely silent. We weren't supposed to talk to each other. We were kind of just supposed to be present in the moment with ourselves, with our thoughts, with where we were. And one of the days, it was a full day of complete silence on the retreat. And that was intense. That was a lot of, you know, thinking and trying to be present, bringing it back to where I was. And then my mind would kind of wander elsewhere and then have to bring it back. But one of the things that I enjoyed the most about that was when I was present and I was observing things, everything just seemed so much more beautiful and so much more vibrant. And on my last day, when we, did, we were able to get technology back, I took out this camera, didn't take out my phone, but took out this camera to capture some stuff that really was beautiful to me. Now, I definitely haven't got everything figured out. I am a forever work in progress, but I wanted to share this journey and bring you along for the ride as I figure myself out and take control of my life while documenting my life on here and sharing a resource that has given me, I think, a wealth of knowledge and the tools to go forward. Now, this resource is this psychologist, which brings me back to why I originally wanted to do this video. And although I'm not gonna share everything that I learned from my experience on the retreat, because it just wouldn't do the retreat justice, um, I do wanna share this doctor. Her name is Dr. Monica Mencia, and I will link her website and the retreat email in the description box below if that's something that you're interested in. There's so much more I wanna say on this whole topic of self-discovery and uh, I just feel like I haven't even scratched the surface. But basically, my biggest takeaway is from disconnecting, I removed the noise. And I went within and I figured a lot of things out. And that's what I wanted to share. And I hope that you can draw some inspiration from this in some way and hopefully figure some things out for yourself. And I hope that, yeah, this was of value. I'm going to continue to try to share my authentic journey and where all of this self-discovery and all of this takes me. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but last month I did the chapter on how to find the courage to start something new. This is chapter two, which is how to take control of my life. And I'm curious to see what the next chapters of this year bring for me and this channel and for you. So having said all of that, I just want to say thank you for watching.